What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Jess, and welcome back to another edition of Mr. Golden Guru. And I went ahead and added to my streak of not being wrong whatsoever. Now, some people may say, wait a minute, GS, you chose the Texans over the Vikings last week. The streak is over. No, that was reverse psychology because I wanted the Vikings to win. So that was telekinesisly done in my favor. See, even when I'm wrong, I'm right. So I'm always right even when I'm wrong. So when you think I'm wrong, that means I'm right. So I'm always right even when I'm wrong. You understand what I'm saying? You guys understand what I'm saying. So I'm what? I'm about uh, five weeks in no so far. Let's see if we can keep it going. First game, Thursday night game, we have the 4-1 and Broncos going up against the 1-4 and Chargers. Now, Semyon will be playing this game after missing last week's game against the Falcons. And that right there gave the Broncos their first loss of the season. And uh, he's back this week. So, uh, still, even if he wasn't, I still would have went with the Broncos uh, over the Chargers. Now, the Chargers, you look at their record 1-4. and four, Again, you can make a case. They could be damn near undefeated. Losing a lot of games. Losing a lot of games they were in. <coughs> every single game at one point. Most of them in the second half. Uh, but we got the Broncos. Still think they're the best defense in the NFL. Going up against the Chargers. And yet we're going with the Broncos. So uh, the 49ers at the Buffalo Bills. Again the 49ers. My heart is with them. You guys know I'm a diehard 49er fan. But let's call a spade a spade. A square a square. A strike a strike. We are terrible. This is Colin Kaepernick's first start though. So I'm, I'm definitely, I think Colin Kaepernick, I mean, he did lead us to the Super Bowl. Now, mind you, our defense was great from Bowman to Patrick Willis. We had a phenomenal, you know, I mean, Justin Smith. We had a really, really, really good defense back then. So it didn't take much from the quarterback position for us to, to be successful, considering our defense was monstrous. But I'm excited to see what Kaepernick can do. Do I think we're going to win this game? No, the Bills are a very good team. I definitely think, uh, you know, the Bills are going to go on ahead and win. And I'm actually hoping they win. I, I just need us to lose, honestly. I'm tired of losing and losing and losing and losing and losing and just winning a handful of games. We just need to win at the minimum. We need to finally get, you know, uh, a franchise player in the draft is what I'm banking on. You know, with Navarro Bowman out once again, I feel like this is a blessing in disguise. He'll go on ahead. Hopefully, he can heal up, get uh, you know, be ready for the 2017 season. You know, be healthy, and hopefully, we can have you know a, a few new additions from drafting earlier, early on in the draft that can help us out because we need help at this point. We need a lot of help, and I'm I'm just hoping <coughs> that we uh, get it right with wherever pick we decide to go with, and. Um, I mean, it, would I be happy if we won? Absolutely. But if we lost, I'm, I'm no longer upset about it. I used to be mad. I used to get really upset. No longer upset. It's just every loss is just that much closer to what potentially could be a franchise player, and we need one. We need one bad. But I got the Bills defeating the 49ers. Eagles at the Redskins. Eagles uh, end up taking their first loss to the Lions. Not too many people saw that. I predicted it right telekinesisly. I picked the Eagles knowing the Lions were going to be the upset favorite. <coughs> so you see what I, you, you see how I'm wrong? Even if I'm right? I mean, you see how I'm right even if I'm wrong? You, you know what I mean, man. But the Eagles at the Redskins, a uh, big division game because this right here could go on ahead and tie their records up at... Um, no, I'm sorry. Eagles had a bye. So they will go to 3-2 and two, and the Redskins will go to 4-2. and two. But uh, still, big division game, and I got I got the Eagles in this one. I got the Eagles coming out up front. Uh, Eagles defense have been looking very good this year. Uh, Redskins still just can't get it going rushing, and and I, I strongly think Matt Jones is gonna again. He's gonna have to do something in order for them <coughs> to be as what I think they can be. But this week we got the Eagles over the Redskins. The Browns at the Titans. We got the Titans winning this one. Browns have just been going downhill since the beginning of the year. Doesn't help that they were supposed to receive Josh Gordon back last week, who is a potential top 10 superstar at wide receiver. Has the potential to be a you know a phenomenal player, but went ahead and uh, self-admitted himself into a rehab facility. So uh, best of luck with him. 
hopefully he can get back because the Browns need some type of hope, man. It's it's bad, you know, when your team is just constantly losing. I know. <laughs> As a 49ers fan, I know. But I got the Browns fan saying, listen, <laughs> at least you got the taste of victory. We're still waiting. It's, it's tough, man. But I got the Titans coming out on top of this one. The Ravens at the Giants. Now, the Giants started off the year hot, went ahead and lost the last few weeks. Ravens got a very good defense. I still think the Giants have potentially the best front four in football. Potentially. They're, I mean, there's a whole lot of money on that front D-line. And, you know, once they really get clicking and going, it's going to be a scary sight. I think the Giants are going to bounce back in this one. OBJ keeps his control. You know, it's not getting beat up by, you know, field goal posts uh, on the sidelines. And I think the Giants come out on top of this one. The Panthers at the Saints, and I had mentioned that this was a do-or-die game for the Panthers last week, that if they lost, pretty much their season and their playoff hopes and dreams were over. <clears throat> now, I believe they did the math, and statistically, they have a 6% chance of making the playoffs. 6%, which is not much at all. And... Uh, 100% they lose, they're done. One in five, they're, they're out. They're just crossing them out. Um, and they happen to go against a, a very good offense in the Saints. And again, I look at the Panthers, and, and they're not utilizing Kelvin Benjamin as they should be. Cam, just chuck it up to the big guy. Let the man put in work. Let the man do what he does. You have, uh, you know, one of the best weapons in the NFL. Again, potentially, I know he was out last year, but, uh, you know, we've seen shades of what he can do. He's a great player. Can't be great without the ball. You know, let allow him to make other people open. Feed him, you know, even if it's quick slants, give him a bubble. Just put the ball in his hands two or three, four times early. Early! And let him make other people open. You need him. You need him. You know, and uh, I got the Panthers winning this game over the Saints. Jaguars or the Bears, I mean, this is this is a tough. This is like the toilet bowl right here. <laughs> one in three Jaguars against the one in four Bears. We're going to go on ahead and say the Bears are going to come out on top and win this game. Rams against the Lions. Uh, again, uh, very difficult for me to go on ahead and choose the NFC West team to win. Considering that's that's my division, and I want every single team except the 49ers to lose. Uh, but at this point, it doesn't even really matter because it's not like we're in contention of anything unless we're talking about a top 10 pick. Uh, Lions shocked a lot. I would like to think shocked a lot of people, right? I'm, I'm sure there were some people really not believing in the, the Eagles hype train as a lot of people were. But I, how many people were expecting the one in three Lions to go on ahead and beat the Eagles. I mean, I, I'm sure there's a handful of people out there, but it couldn't have been many. Um, but the Rams, you know, are, are getting it together, you know, and we're going to go with the Rams over the lines on this one. We have the Pittsburgh Steelers against the Miami Dolphins. We're going to go with the Steelers on this one. Steelers offense has been looking phenomenal. Big Ben has been looking in top shape, uh, looking like one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right there. And he doesn't get mentioned a lot up there. You know, when you talk about the best quarterbacks in the NFL, you know, a lot of people, you know, very quick, Rodgers, Brady, you know, uh, Matt Ryan has obviously been lighting it up this year. Uh, but Ben Roethlisberger is usually, you know, outside that top, you know, three bubble. Uh, and he's, he's a beast, man. He's putting up numbers. And I see it continuing this week. Bengals against the Patriots. I mean... Tom Brady came back with a vengeance. That man was, what, he threw for 400 yards and like three touchdowns? And I think he left the fourth quarter with six minutes remaining. It's going to be a scary year for whoever has to face the Patriots. Scar I think Tom Brady is on a mission. He is on a mission this year. <clears throat> and I think anybody standing in his way is going to get absolutely dotted up. And I don't take no exceptions for these Bengals. I see the Patriots winning. The Bengals coming off of that loss to the Cowboys. Now they have to go on ahead and face Tom Brady, who is, whether you want to believe it or not, he is on a mission to put up godlike numbers. And I don't... It's, whew, I see it. I see him continuing it this week. 
Chiefs at the Raiders. We're going to go with the Raiders here. Raiders have been looking very good this year as well. 4-1. and one. The Chiefs 2-2. Two and two. We're going to go on ahead and choose the Raiders on this one. Seahawks and the Falcons. One hell of a game right here. One hell of a game. You have the 4-1 Falcons against the 3-1 Seahawks. Now, my heart wants to go with C uh, wants Seattle to lose because, again, you know, uh, biasness. You know, they're being in my division. I don't want them to win. But um, it's tough. It's really tough to go against Seattle. You know, um, Russell Wilson has been looking really good this year. Uh, defense has been playing well. Now, it's a matter of, you know, defense and, and offense. Now, the Falcons did beat what I would like to think is the best defense in the NFL, which the Vikings can make a case. Vikings can make a case, you know, and <laughs> uh, you'd have to listen to the argument and, uh, you know, can't even say that they're wrong if somebody wants to go ahead and say they're the best defense in the NFL right now. <clears throat> but Broncos, if not the best, they're, they're you know, a top five defense. And uh, Falcons, you know, come away on top now. Uh, might have to do with Simeon uh, being out. But nonetheless, Falcons still did what they had to do and outscored the Broncos, man. So um, I'm, I'm going to go with the Seahawks on this one. I think the Seahawks are going to uh, are gonna pull away with this victory and uh, ease their way over the Falcons. So, we have the Cowboys at the Packers. Very good game. A lot of controversy surrounding uh, lately. What's going to happen with Romo uh, once he's eligible to play? I don't know if it's this week. I haven't really been keeping up with it. But I just know it's a lot of news swirling around. What's going to happen with Dak? The offense is playing good. You know, they're playing good as a team, as a unit. <clears throat> Do you want to mess up that chemistry? And Dak time will come. Dak has hopefully... Because he seems like a great talent, and the last thing you want to see is, uh, is uh, you know, a, a great talent being unable to, uh, you know, display his craft. So, knock on wood, hopefully he has a long, long time to go on ahead and showcase his skills. You know, but I think if Tony Romo comes back, you, you, you got to go with Romo. Now, I understand what people are saying. You know, you got to, you know, I, if you want to make the case why Dak should stay... I get it, but to me, you just you got to go with Romo. You know, Romo doesn't have that much long left. You're going to have a long time with Dak out there. You know, uh, he held the fort down incredibly until Romo got healthy and he's in there. If Romo's healthy enough and he's 100% and he's able to go, I feel like you go with Romo. I feel like he gives you a slight, you know, better chance. Um, just because I don't know, I'm not sure about his injury. Even if he says he's 100, I'm not, not really sure. You all know if your back is gone, that messes everything up. So, uh, you know, still I would have to say Romo gives you a, a slightly better chance of winning than Dak, even as great as he's doing. And you know, Dak time will come. You know, and he's doing great right now. And and you guys got a, uh, I would like to think a, a star in the making. He he looks great. His decision making is crisp. His play, you know, the uh, just everything is looking really, really, really good. But in my opinion, you you hand over the fort to Romo. You held it down. You uh, you know, you prepare for your your long future you got in Dallas, and you know, see what Romo can do. Uh, but this is a very uh, very tough game against the Packers, and it's it's a good game. I would like to see Dak. See what he could do against the Packers. And I think they faced the Eagles the week after. I think I was watching uh, Colin Hurd. And he was saying that what they should do. Is leave Dak in against the, the Pack. That See that's what makes me think Romo's coming back. Uh, soon if not this week. I'm not sure. I don't know what the case is. But the way he was talking made it seem. Like uh, he would may come back this week. I don't know. But he was like you know what I would do. Is I would leave Dak in against the Packers. Leave them against the Eagles. See what he can do. And then bring Romo in against the Browns. Because the last thing you want to do, and, and he, you know, made a lot of sense. Last thing you want to do is bring Romo in against the Eagles and they lose, you know, a tough division game. And Dak had everything rolling in the right direction. And then everybody's going to be second guessing why would you take him out. So you leave Dak in, you, you see what he can do against those defenses, get, get a glimpse of what he can do against, you know, uh, two top teams in the NFL. Right now, the Packers and the Eagles bring Romo back against the Browns should be an easy win. He can ease his way back in there, see if he's feeling comfortable, see if he's looking good, and then make your decision from there. But this week, Sunday, uh, we're going to go with the Cowboys over the Packers. The Colts against the Texans. I believe I've seen news of J.J. Watt being out for the remainder of the year, which is 
which is a heartbreaking, you know, news. I personally think he's the best player in football. Again, I know most people are going to sit there and say, you know, a quarterback position. But if I had first draft pick in the NFL and we're doing a draft, I got number one pick. I'm taking J.J. Watt. I think he's that much of an animal. I think he's that much of a of a playmaker. You know, now obviously he can't do it all by himself. Uh, you give Texans a good quarterback, and you know they got some things going on over there. But when it comes to defense, though, J.J. Watt is an animal, and uh, that's obviously a very big blow to what they like to do over there in uh, Houston. Um, so. I still keep putting faith in the Colts, and I want to go with the Colts, but I, my gut is telling me go with the Texans. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with our gut. We're going to go with the Texans over the Colts. Monday night, we have the Jets at the Cardinals. Now, two teams that I thought would have been doing better than where the records are. Jets at 1-4, Cardinals at 2-3. and three. Uh, If you told me those were going to be the records going into week six, I would have called you a flat-out liar. Uh, definitely did not see this happening. But we are going to go with the Cardinals over the Jets. Putting the Cardinals back at 3-3. Three and three, Still giving them some life to go on ahead and, and uh, make the playoffs. And they definitely would love for the Seahawks and the Rams to lose. Uh, so that that would help them out if both of them lose um, and they win. You know, that would definitely help them out a lot. You know, then everybody in the division, except the 49ers, of course. We'll have three wins. So that's the end of the predictions, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave in the comment section which one you guys agree with or disagree with. Again, Broncos over the Chargers, Bills over the 49ers, Eagles over the Redskins, Titans over the Browns, Giants over the Ravens, Panthers over the Saints, Bears over the Jaguars. The Did I choose the Lions over the Rams? If I chose the Rams, Mulligan, I'm, I'm looking at it now. If, if I didn't choose the Lions first go, I'm going with the Lions. Steelers over the Dolphins. Patriots over the Bengals. Raiders over the Chiefs. Seahawks over the Falcons. Cowboys over the Packers. Texans over the Colts. And the Cardinals over the Jets.